Okay, welcome everyone to another flat cap interview. Uh, this time I'm with two of the guys from Leadworm, Michael and Jonah. Pleased to meet you guys. Thanks for having us, Derek. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks for coming on. Uh, we're going to find out a little bit about the band and and what they're up to and how things are working for them. So, um, I suppose the first thing, guys, is is how did the band come about? How did you all meet and how did the band get set up? Who was responsible for that? It was in the year 2015. It was around about August. Um, I had uh, approached Facebook, put a advert on there, and just uh, with a bunch of songs I'd written for Led Worm originally. And uh, was a matter of minutes. Uh, Dave, the drummer, he replied and said, didn't even want to audition, just said, I'm in. I'm your drummer. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Yeah. Um, I was like, sure, Dave. Uh, I didn't even know him from anything at that time. Yeah. Uh, I googled him a bit and I realized he had played in a lot of bands and uh, he'd been around for a while. So he's a pretty very, confident guy, isn't he? You know? Yeah, he was very yeah. experienced. Yeah, so yeah, I thought, true. wow, you know, uh, I'm pretty lucky. I don't have to worry about finding a drummer anymore. And it wasn't soon after that, Jonah also replied to the, the message and he said, you know, he's keen to play whatever as well. Um, Jonah's pretty versatile, he does guitar, yeah. bass. So I said to him, well, let's see how we go with the rest of the members. You know, it will depend on if he wants to play bass or guitar. Um, from there on in, we started to get together and uh, put the songs together. We found a keyboardist. Uh, her name was Kristen. She was the original keyboardist of the band. Yeah, okay. Um, she was famous for taking selfies while she was playing. <laughs> <laughs> she was a big Instagrammer, Facebooker. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she was with us from the beginning, or in the beginning. And uh, Jonah's made Hazza. He joined us soon after on the second guitar. Uh, we did a little project with him for uh, Levitica. Yeah. Some people may know her. Uh, Led Worm as a band did a few shows with her. Yeah. She just doing her music. And uh, yeah, after that, we just started playing together and doing the Led Worm thing. And that's been about, what, nearly two years now? Yeah, okay. In yeah. a month or two time, it'll be two years. It still feels like. We just all met each other yeah. sometimes. Oh, but, um, well, that's, that's not a yeah, we're only on our um, we're on our fourth keyboardist now, and that's <laughs> yeah. Michael here now. Um, okay. We just you know we've tried out a few now, and nothing really seems to kind of stick. But so we are looking for a keyboardist still, maybe. Yeah. Like a yeah. They all both sound as if they're a bit quirky, like drummers, you know. Then yeah, you've but they gone didn't... through that many keyboards. Yeah, they, you know I mean? yeah. I don't know what it is. Drummers seem to be in their own little group of uh, yeah. You know. I actually enjoy playing keyboard at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a sampler, pretty much. We yeah. uh, trigger trigger samples. So when you when you set the band up originally, did you know you were going to have a keyboard? The, Led, it, or the whole, is that just it, yeah? The evolved? emphasis of Led Worm is all about keyboards. Um, I've yeah, always okay. been extremely. I grew up, you know, uh, Oasis, a lot of bands, uh, Smashing Pumpkins, always yeah. had keyboards in the music. Subtle though, very subtle yeah, in the yeah. background. Mm, and, really fills um, out the sound. Yeah, it's good. And I've, I've been fascinated with synths, synths and keyboards. I had a keyboard as a child. Yeah. You know, they had an organ for me. <laughs> but um, I learned to play organ when I was about 12. So I've always been on the keys, always fascinated yeah, by it. Okay. I love the sounds it makes that you can't get on a guitar. Yeah. And um, the simplicity behind it. Uh, some things you just push one key and, and it'll it play it goes, a yeah. soundscape which is, gives you the feeling of the song. And I've always wanted to integrate that into every song. Yeah, that's good. You'll find in our shows now, we try and not have a minute of silence at all. There's just always some sort yeah, of a synthy feel. Yeah. No silence at all. Yeah. It'll evoke some sort of feeling as well. It's mm. pretty much a soundtrack. Yeah, if you come watch great. us, that 40 minutes is a soundtrack well, you know, of a movie. It's not like yeah. everybody's doing that sort of thing. Are they? You know, nah, so I haven't, seen, and... haven't seen many other smaller <coughs> fans doing it or not. Back in, back in my day, because I'm quite a bit older than you guys, I, I used to like a band called The Specials. and like, It's a ska, ska punk sort of thing. Um, two-tone movement and they've got keyboards and a lot of the bands back then would hmm. would were doing it as well so yeah fun mm. keyboards that'd be good yeah like but that. i find though i think while we've gone through so many keyboardists is that the really good ones get bored yeah yeah, yeah absolutely okay. they do it's very straightforward um because yeah. how i find it is uh, we would have a subtle note that's constant through and then the bass is the alternating rhythm and you have that constant keyboard in the background which creates a vibe all together so i think maybe that's probably much wider mind doing it because it's easy to trigger and play. So maybe yeah. you need to get somebody that's 
just starting to I mean if you yeah, can play yeah, then yeah. you could actually show them a little bit as well so teach somebody mm. as they're going along it's, it's you know? better off for a beginner because yeah someone who is experienced on the keys doesn't want to hold that button down yeah. for three minutes or whatever and there that's what makes it easy on stage now Michael can just yeah press that one button and then can keep playing guitar get yeah. into it a bit and come back and press another button in a minute and a half so there we go we've just <laughs> sorted that little issue out haven't we so anybody <laughs> out there that's learning and you know yeah. fancies a go it's, then hit it's the a guys good beginner up. position yeah. yeah absolutely so what about the band name where's the band name come on I've seen seen the logo as well it's yeah it, it, it was an evolution um initially how I started Led Worm was it was LED Worm. Yeah. That was the initial name of the band. Um, I played around a lot with LED lights, flashing lights um, to sound, yeah. motion. Um, I wanted to base my show on that. Still might. Um, it's a little bit intricate trying to get it to work. And yeah. we don't have a lot of setup time in between sets, and so we need a bit yeah. more time. Maybe one day. Your organ player not do that. You're yeah, well, pianist if there's only sort of. Uh, well, we had like we had, we had LED lights attached to all of our equipment, like amplifiers, oh, um, yeah. the keyboards as well. Um, Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, it does it just a little? It took a little bit too much time setting up before the stages and. And it breaks all the time. It breaks all <laughs> yeah. the time as well yeah. for some reason. Um, Technical issues. Though. Yeah. <laughs> there's teething issues. Anyway, yeah. So that's, it would. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, we could we could have taken it way further beyond that as well. I wanted mm. to use fluorescent LEDs and glow in the dark paint and mm. a whole visual experience. But I managed to pull it off once in the earlier days, but the uh, crowd was too distracted. I don't think mm. they were saying they didn't even hear the music, which is too much going on okay. on the stage. But so that was an issue. The name, um, and then when I, I came across the logo, the design with the butterfly, it's kind of like an ink blot that would they would use to assess people's mental issues or whatever. Yeah. Um, and the ink blot, if you look carefully, you either see a butterfly or you'll see skulls. So the emanation of what lead worm is, is a bullet and the metamorphosis into a, yeah. a butterfly of skulls. So There's a link to all of it. There's a bigger story behind all of it, but that's something yeah, it's good. You'll, you'll find put by put listening to the music. a lot of thought into it, which is good. Yeah. yeah. So um, what about your music? How would you describe it? Um, like indie sort of music or, or what and what, what sort of bands have influenced you who, who are you sort of I mean you've already mentioned a couple yeah from back then so I think everyone has their own perception of what we sound like uh, I personally mm. I can only round it off to alternative because it's such a vast yeah, yeah. Alternative sure, but I know Jonas probably got his, his thoughts as well on what he thinks um, we all got a different angle of what we think it is yeah no it's still alternative rock really with like you know those heavy keyboard and Kind of like a, a dark emotive uh, vibe to it, I yeah. think, um, which is what is carried by the keyboard more than anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bit bit darker vibe, alternative rock. Mm. Mm. A band I forgot to mention earlier was Depeche Mode. Yeah, okay. That's what I listened yeah. to a lot when I was yeah. younger, and I, I, I love the darkness of his voice over the synths of the keyboard. Yeah, mm. is this the latest stuff rather than the, the earliest, earliest stuff? stuff. Really, the, the earliest the, stuff. They're the new stuff, very they, commercial. Yeah. But um, I actually didn't listen to much of the newer stuff. I suppose they try to revive their sound and have the same kind of. They're idea. still going, so they've got some longevity to them. So the, mm. you know, and for a band to have been going that length yeah, that of time, long. and mm. they've, they've had issues throughout the, the the time of the band and what have you, and that, but they're still there and still doing the stuff. So. Mm. It's the same yeah. kind of thing, pretty much. Um, I wouldn't know how to classify their music as well, but yeah, we kind of put into an alternative rock phase. Um, if you listen to the all our music, it's impossible to really put all of them into any kind of yeah. genre because it's just some of it would be very commercially pop. Yeah, there's some, yeah, there's some a couple of songs which are a lot more poppy than the rest, and then there's those ones which are a lot faster and heavier than the others. So we've got a bit of a diverse range, but then it always sounds like us as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you can tell. A Ledworm song when you hear it, I think if you've listened to it enough, like it just sounds like like it, like Ledworm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what about uh, the writing of the songs? How does that process work? If uh, you write in the songs and the other guys are just bringing their parts to it, or do the other guys sort of uh, chip in with with the songs as well, or is it you know mainly down to yourself to to? Uh it was initially my project. I wrote about 11 songs in the beginning that were recorded for an album. 
and those I kind of wrote by myself. But when I got together with uh, Jonah Hazard and Dave, um, those songs evolved in, them, in themselves because those songs were all done in the studio and we started playing them live. Each person brought their own edge to it and yeah. it started evolving into an even better song. If I had another chance, I would have probably liked to have gone and recorded that rather in the studio because it's more... Um, the album was literally me doing everything. and But now all the newer songs that we're doing since that first album is more of a collaborational effort. Yeah. Uh, mm. Everybody's... Dave's got his own drumming style, yeah, yeah. Jonah's got his own bass style, and has 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 a. I suppose if you, you've advertised for the, the guys to, to form the band and that, you, you obviously had songs that yeah, were there yeah, originally, us, but as... Yeah, he sent us songs to show, and you know, it appealed, to, <coughs> it appealed to obviously me and Dave, like when we heard it first off, we were just like straight away, yeah, want to yeah. want to get along in that band, and then yeah, when we started working on new material, we changed the tuning. So we yeah. started off in drop D, now we're in like drop B and do some different kind of stuff, trying to experiment with different genres. And like I've, we did a, I did a rap thing recently and we're looking to kind of branch out and do other weird yeah. experimental things, cross over and have a bit of uh, screaming, like other, yeah. other artists get up as well and do a song, yeah, that sort okay. of thing. So. It's a lot of fun. I suppose as the band's developed, like it's two two years down the track from when you sort of started it, you know you 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 know each other better, and you you bring in. Oh, yeah, they're right. not just all solely mm. your nah. idea from the start. Now you they're, can they're see the clear transition from the beginning to the end. Now. Yeah, yeah. And we still don't know where we go. Too, like, that's good. That's so it's just too one thing before, it? and now it's got other people's opinions and ideas in it. So it's it sounds a lot bigger and better. I think. Yeah. yeah. So um, if people want to get the music and, and stuff like that, then it's readily available, I presume, on your your pages and stuff like that. Yeah, we've that. got our we've got our own website that's just ledworm.com, L-E-A-D, worm, and um, uh, there is pretty much everything I ever written for Led Worm Project. Yeah. Um, there's even a section where I wrote songs right from the beginning that never made it into the first album, but I thought it would be fair just to put everything. They're kind of like B-sides. Yeah, it okay. gives it gives somebody who's that interested in our music to go and listen to how it evolved from that beginning and what mm. made it onto the first album, and from there you'll see the progression of where we started doing covers because um, it was kind of an experimental phase. I thought that I did Tears for Fears, um, yeah. a couple of songs that I grew up with that I've always just wanted to cover in a lead worm kind of way. Um, yeah, put your own twist on it, sort of thing. Yeah, they're cool. They're worth checking out as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We ended up doing Tainted Love as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, from Soft Cell... Do you play them live at your shows still, or mm. not so much now? They're on course, Sometimes, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, okay. We've got Tainted Love uh, from Soft Cell. We, we do yeah. that as an encore, when yeah. we get an encore. <laughs> 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 but we've got that one in the pocket. But um, I, I still love to experiment with covers. It's, yeah. You know, to take it from a commercial point of view, it helps a lot of bands. Um, yeah. yeah, it gets people listening at live shows yeah. that otherwise wouldn't come over and listen to you when they're getting a drink at the bar or whatever, so you got to do more. Yeah, it's too. familiarity, isn't it? You know, they've heard it before and, oh yeah, mm. and you've dragged them in then as well, mm -hmm. so, mm. you, know, the, you know, as much as you enjoy doing them, it, it, it's a means to an end as well, isn't it? You know? Yeah, definitely. Definitely yeah. worth doing. I know uh, I'm, I, I like um, Rancid and how you've said you've put all your, your stuff up there. They'll release an album and there'll probably be 18 or 19 tracks on it. Mm. Now, realistically, most bands would probably condense that down to 12. And I like the fact that they're happy enough to put out songs on there that you might... Some people will listen to them and think, oh, that's, yeah. a, bit, that's a bit crappy, that's yeah, just yeah. a filler, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, but for that, they're, they're, they're putting 18 or 19 tracks on, you're getting the whole lot there. Mm. And, and I get a bit disappointed when people sort of say, Oh yeah, there's a few crappy tracks on there. Hold on a minute. All the other bands are only giving you twelve songs. They're giving you everything, so just take it on the chin. You know, yeah. they'll give you twelve songs, and there still might be a couple of iffy tracks on there. These are mm. giving you the full works that they've been working on for the last twelve months, and you've got the whole lot. It doesn't look like they took anything out of it. You know, mm. so um, so to chuck it all up, you know, it's 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 a good thing. It's a brave thing as well. You know, it's a good because or a bad it opens thing, yeah. you up to criticism mm. of the tracks that. You got to put it yeah. out there though, because yeah. I mean that's the biggest thing. Too many people probably hold on to tracks they don't release and that sort of thing. But 
it's better off just to put it out there. It's hard to get heard as it is, so. Well, you, you know what? It, it's not easy writing songs, however, mm. whatever level your songs are at. Mm. Um, so you should be pretty proud of whatever you do. I think, really, you know, not everybody can go out there and make songs. A lot of mm. musicians will go out there and play other people's songs. We've mentioned covers, but that's probably all some people do. They can play the guitar really oh, well, so, but such they a don't big cover scene. write their own songs. Yeah, there's a yeah. massive cover scene now, but it's almost disappointing. It's kind of hard for the original bands that are out yeah. there in, in comparison to those cover cover yeah. acts. Are just yeah. There's yeah. a lot of them out there, and they're pretty good. But yeah, need more opportunities for original music. Yeah, in Australia. Yeah. So, what are the plans? We're hopefully coming to film you at the Enigma. I think that's next Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, next Saturday. You need to get me on the guest list for that, you know, so I can <laughs> get in for nothing. Because I'll only be filming you guys. How many other bands are on? There's seven other bands, actually. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. better let me know what time you're on. Yeah, well. yeah. You're not on at 12 o'clock, are you? Um, Who are we on? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about at 10.30, I think. Yeah? Yeah, 10.30 at Enigma Bar next Saturday. Okay. Well, I, have, I filmed there the other week. Mm. So, that's I'll right. need to get some of the setup in front of the sound guy. So. Yeah, at least you'll be familiar with the yeah. place. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you you've been doing a lot lately. Um, and what are the plans going forward? You you've done acoustic sets and that as well, haven't you? Mm. Oh. What's that happening tonight? Well, uh, Michael did a first one. It was kind of a kick off to it. Was that last week or the week before? It was two weeks back. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm joining in on this one. We have played acoustically one time before, like on a radio show. Um, but yeah, this will be a first for a live one yeah. for myself, and then next time I think Dave might be joining in on the yeah, drum, okay. drum box type thing. So. so it's progressively getting a bit bigger as well as you're doing. No, uh, just well. just just playing around with it yeah. and just letting the people see what's next, I guess, and just mixing it up a bit, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're gonna hear the songs in a really different light. I mean. Yeah. Mm. I enjoy distortion and loud music as much as the next person, but sometimes maybe you lose the message. Yeah. Whereas yeah. you break it all down to acoustic, you get to hear the message more and understand the song a bit better. And and that's actually how all the songs were written. Um, yeah. Uh, in the studio afterwards, you're piling on all, you're layering on all the tracks and all the synths. And sometimes you forget about that key hook that you've come up with on the guitar. But maybe breaking it all down to acoustic, you get to hear that again and. Uh, it's it's a cool thing. I'm glad we started doing it, and uh, yeah, good. I wouldn't mind doing it with all our songs. But it will go in a different direction. I don't want it to distract us too much from. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I'm enjoying the rap thing. We've got a new yeah. rap song that we've done. Um, there is a teaser for that mm. on our Facebook page. Yeah, okay. And um, can't wait to finish that song as well and, and start yeah. playing that one. It's a cool different direction that we're taking. Like I said, we I don't like to put us in any category as such. Yeah, we want to span and do a lot of different things. Yeah, um, yeah just experiment and, you know. Yeah, well that's good, you know, and at the end of the day, you've got to do what you enjoy doing yourself. And if, mm. if people enjoy it, they'll come along for the ride as well, won't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. So, mm. yeah. But, you know, you ultimately you've got to enjoy it yourselves first. Mm. You know, you're not trying to please a million people out there. You've got to please yourself. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then if then people come along, then that's, that's your bonus and, and people always along you know so you'll do all right okay <laughs> i think that's uh that's probably about about wrapped it up we're going to get the guys they're going to do an uh, acoustic for us in a, in a minute as well so we'll be putting that up as the teaser then you'll get this interview and then um we'll be filming the live gig as we've said last week so yeah thanks thanks for coming on guys um and when it goes up share it about with you yeah, we'll do. Put it on your page and your, you know, your personal friends and that, and we'll see if we can get a few views up for you. Cool. Thanks, all right. Darren. Okay. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you all later. Uh, we're Lead Worm. It's my mate Jonah. I'm Michael. I'm gonna do a song for you called Wasted.
Very good, guys. Very Sucks good. to play with cold hands, everybody. <laughs> it's very cold out here. Uh, that's come out well. Well done. <clears throat>